Good morning and welcome to our act of worship this morning. It's really good and great to be with you. It'll be even more lovely to be able to be with you in person and hopefully it won't now be too long before I'm able to come back into school and to share in worship with you. I want to begin our worship this morning by thinking of opposites. I wonder if you know what an opposite is. An opposite is something that is very different, completely different normally from the other. So for example, you have something that is short and the opposite of being short is of course tall, or perhaps something is very wide or very narrow. Something too can be sad. The opposite of sad is of course, happy or we say that we are united we agree on things or the opposite is that we disagree many different things can indeed be opposite the coming now within the year to the time of remembrance when we remember the many people the men and women who died and gave their lives fighting in wars across our land and across our world. And we remember them as they worked and fought for peace. And we can only of course live in peace today because of the way in which they served our country and fought for that peace. And as we think of peace, we're going to look and consider a prayer called the Peace Prayer that was written by Satish Kumar and was adopted in 1981, adopted by the peace movement. And within that prayer, there are lots of words that are opposite to the other. So we find within that prayer, the word despair, and of course the opposite of despair is hope. Death and life, that prayer talks about and hate and love. Let me read that prayer to you. It reads, lead me from death to life, from falsehood to truth. Lead me from despair to hope, from fear to trust. Lead me from hate to love, from war to peace. Let peace fill our heart, our world, our universe. Of course, we long for the world to be a place of peace. And you've only got to look on the television to see that there are even still today, many places where there is not peace, where people fight and argue with each other, where people kill each other very unnecessarily. But this poem reminds us, this prayer reminds us that there is peace and there can be peace. There can be peace when people don't hate, but love one another. When people are not in despair, but people live in hope. And of course, that those world wars that people fought for us can give us hope that we can live in freedom. And Jesus too, within Matthew, wrote about peace. He wrote these words, let me read them to you. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. God longs for each one of us to bring peace to our land. Peace to our country, peace in our homes, peace in our schools. We can all live, can't we? at peace with one another within our school, by not arguing, by getting along with each other and doing things that are peaceful and calm. So as we think about that prayer of peace, as we think about remembrance, when we remember all who have died to give us that peace that we now enjoy, let's thank God for them and let's do our best to try and live in peace with one another. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you call us 
to live in love and peace with one another. And as we think about that prayer for peace, help us to love each other rather than hating each other, to live in peace with and harmony with one another and get on with each other so that we cannot be in despair, but we have hope. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, that in your death and resurrection, you brought us hope. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.